Hi, my name is Sean Carrion, and I'm going to be doing a book review on a book by John C. Maxwell, and it's called The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Some of author John C. Maxwell's qualifications include having a Master's of Divinity from Azra Pacific University. He also has a Doctor of Ministry from Fuller Theological Seminary. He's the founder of Equip, which helps to empower Christian leaders through faith-based leadership training. Um, it helps to mobilize, connect, and add value to their means of transforming the world. He is also the founder of the John Maxwell Company. This helps to distribute his resources, such as his books, um, develops customized curriculums for businesses, um, and it also impacts industries locally, nationally, and globally to help leaders reach their full potentials. He's also a public speaker and he does many speaking events. He's a leadership coach and a mentor. The book's purpose. So the purpose of his book is, is to help leaders grow their skills. Um, it helps to explain which laws can be used in certain situations, giving real world examples in which his laws are being used. Um, that can help to give a template that you can follow. It also gives insight to how he created these laws and helps those to use those laws in their own leadership practices. So the target audience for this book, um, it can include those that are currently in leadership roles, um, those that are seeking to get into leadership roles. It could also be those that are looking to improve their current leadership roles and also possibly their skills. Um, it could also include those in management that may be lacking in some leadership skills or they also just want to add some extra skills towards their leadership. So some of the strengths for the 21 Irrefutable Laws. Um, some of them, they have short names so they can easily be applied. Um, within these laws, he uses his own experiences, so he gives a lot of anecdotes as far as how he uses them, how he comes up with them. Um, so he gives experiences from not only his own, but also those that he's witnessed. Um, it helps to shape the laws that are in his book. Um, he also talks about both the successes and the failures which help to create these laws. So that goes a lot into the laws that he has created. Now, some of the shortcomings with this book, um, within this book, there's not a lot of real world data that he's giving. A lot of it is just his anecdotes and stories. So there's no real world data to show that it will help to improve your leadership skills, but it's mostly just stories. There are some that also might say that he gives a lot of religious overtones due to his background. So some people that read his book may not quite appreciate all the religious overtones and things like that. Um, in fact, it could turn off some potential people. So you might not actually ever read this book if you're not interested in incorporating spiritual or religious overtones into your leadership practice. <clears throat> and then something that he even mentions in the foreword of this version of the book that I read was that since the first time that he's actually written this book and these laws, it has changed over time. So he's gone back and he's updated two of the laws in some of the future versions. And he mentions this in a foreword. So depending on if you ever actually get this book, like a newer version or an older version, you may not have access to all the current up-to-date laws or the ones that he's also updated. So achievement of this book, has it achieved its objective? What is its objective? So the objective of this book, he simply just wants to help leaders become better leaders. He wants leadership to improve. He wants those to better themselves. He wants you to add skills. Um, I would say that he had the book has met that objective going through giving some easy to use laws that has easy application that I believe would help to better your leadership skills. So would I recommend this book? I do recommend this book. It does give clear defined laws, very easy to understand. Um, it gives you a lot of anecdotes as to how you can actually use these laws. 
you don't even have to necessarily use every single law together. He even says that you should probably only be using some of these laws because you can't incorporate all of them together in, into one leadership practice. He gives a lot of real world experience, a lot of stories as to how these laws came about. And he also does go back and update his previous work. So even though to me that was an initial shortcoming, I do believe that that leads to better practice. So this has been my review of John C. Maxwell's book, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask.